Studio Diagnosing Solution. My name is Bharat Sharma, and we are keep on continue to explaining uh, safety in uh, metal melting and handling. So now in this series, we are uh, talking about today's uh, molten metal handling and transport. So molten metal need to be handled and transport carefully. The melting often takes place in centralized location and. Uh, good heat transfer is necessary to achieve optimal product productivity steering or pumping and transfer must be handled correctly to avoid problems such as uh, sludging and uh, of course after completing this video you are able to state the two forced conventional uh, melting methods and you also able to explain the benefit of using and molten metal pump you also explain why it is necessary to transfer metal properly and this information uh, you can use uh, to provide a specific uh, information on handling molten metal you can use this information to ensure you are following the best melting practices thereby reducing metal loss and cost all right so let's discuss about the pumping and steering uh, in uh, many large scale digesting operations melting often take uh, place in centralized location such as in a large uh, refractory furnace with uh, 20 to 50 ton capacity good heat transfer is necessary to achieve optimal productivity or melting rate especially when large quantity of trim scrap scrap casting purchase scrap and snow make up the charges Steering or uh, molten metal pumping is used to achieve forced conventional melting. Steering is done manually in small furnaces, but in larger furnaces, a mechanical device such as a, a molten metal pump is uh, more efficient. As you can see in this image, uh, uh, despite centrifugal molten metal pump constructed with aluminium resistant graphite, ceramic, and refractory materials. If we talk about the uh, uh, pumping benefits, so the pump is positioned in a side wall in the repository furnace place uh, uh, like this. Uh, you know, you can uh, see in this image the circulation pump provides force conventional melting resulting and uh, which gives you uh, reduced energy consumption, higher melting rates better homogeneity of the metal bath, less temperature stratification, improved refractory performance life due to lower thermal heads. In addition, the better heat transfer result in less drop uh, dross buildup, hence yield or metal recovery is increased. The benefits of uh, forced conventional circulation pumping are especially desirable in order to achieve superior dye and cast alloy quality. The homogeneity of the molten metal bath is very important in avoiding sludging. Stirring in a small melting furnace where a pump cannot be employed, it is advisable to gently but firmly stir the melt during meltdown and flat bath condition. This improves the melting rate as well as alloy the and temperature homogeneity. Stirring tools should always be free from debris such as flux, dross, oxide etc which would uh, contaminate the melt use of flux won't uh, stir the bath through insert gas injection in some time employed to stir the melt but only modest result can be uh, gain, uh, gained in the, this manner okay let's discuss about the uh, some pouring techniques so proper metal transfer is essential to maintain molten metal quality at a, as a high level as uh, possible. It is inevitable that some degree of uh, turbulence will result whenever molten aluminum is handled and such turbulence will result in further oxidization and dross formation. Careful practice can keep in this uh, uh, minimum. So let's discuss about the pouring, pouring techniques. So always minimize turbulence when pouring molten metal aluminum from any one vessel to another in order to minimize further oxidization of the metal and dross generation. This includes furnace to ladle, ladle to holding furnace or uh, from the holding, uh, you know, casting furnace to the short sleeve. Always skim 
any drops from the metal surface prior to pouring and afterward as well the pouring operation should be accomplished with a smooth uh, flow of metal as possible minimizing pouring height and without creating a splash into the receiving vessel dross formation during pouring while inevitable must be minimized here we have some metal transfer techniques so first of all we uh, know about the transfer uh, transferring metal there are many methods for transferring metal from the central melting area to the die casting machine holding furnace there are also many system available to transfer metal from the holding pot into the uh, short sleeve the transfer of metal with a minimum amount of turbulence to keep oxidation and metal loss as small as possible is important is most important you can see the pressurized system for transferring metal from large furnace to uh, delivery ladle are desired the advantage of a pressurized system is that there are no moving part if nitrogen is used to pressurize the chamber oxidation is minimizing and maintenance reduced in this figure you uh, can see a non pressurized system with the broad pouring system and gushes and uh, excessive pouring heights create a excessive draws uh, through turbulence and should be avoided in next figure uh, we have an example of a centrifugal pump used to transfer metal from a large furnace to larger ladder or directly to casting unit such pump may be uh, size to achieve transfer rate from uh, uh, 500 pound per minute to uh, 10000 pound per minute the new state of the uh, at the transfer pump have a very low maintenance cost compared to older design so we have uh, another uh, refractory line pipe example uh, the refractory line pipe used to transport liquid metal from one furnace to another this can be over a distance of uh, several feet or up to over a uh, sls the pipe is lined with a non wetting material all right so we have uh, another over the road crucible and uh, the liquid metal being transferred to large refractory furnace from a refractory line over the road crucible the crucible size may vary from uh, 15000 pound to 30000 pound if large quantity of the metal are required this is an economical way of purchasing metal a liquid metal is delivered to chemical specification at the temperature desired this method saves inventory cost melting cost minimizing melt loss and increase furnace life molten metal delivers are transferred into holding furnace that are then Uh, tapped for lateral transfer or by direct launder transfer to the die casting holding furnace here we have auto ladling system example uh, in a auto ladling system used to transfer metal from holding unit to the short sleeve note the clean out lid during the operation of this type of unit some oxide develop on the surface due to the up and down motion during transferring and refilling a rigid cleaning program should be established to remove the lid and clean out the crucible thereby minimizing problems okay let's discuss about the metal loss and cost and test have show that untreated dross may contain up to 80% aluminum and this is true because we have uh, uh, already upload uh, the dross recovery video in two parts so you can also watch that uh, these videos and you can find this is uh, true uh, you can say up to 85% uh, aluminum uh, untreated in dross if you are not treated uh, well your dross so you are losing your uh, uh, aluminum so treated dross will contain 15 to 18% uh, aluminum remember that metal is money when you lost metal you lose it money for example if you start with 1000 pound of metal and each time you melt it you lose uh, you lose uh, 5% after 5 meltdown you will have a uh, 773.8 pound left or loss of uh, 226.2 pound at cost of 0.50 
per pound. This is equal loss of around uh, 113 dollar and you may not have produced good casting. Direct material control is very important to minimize metal costs. In most die cast operations where you just cast, trim and ship, the metal cost is 55 to 65 percent of the cost of the part. In this figure uh, uh, of an enclosed aluminium holding and transferring system, this is a high efficiency electrical system. Uh, liquid metal is delivered to the large furnace at each end of line. The metal is then delivered to each machine through an enclosed launder system. This is a high efficiency electrical heated system. And this figure, uh, uh, 20,000 pound high efficiency electric holding furnace that service launder system. Uh, and uh, this another image we have uh, uh, the launder system. High efficiency electric holder work very well and can reduce metal holding cost substantially. Providing the manufacturer recommendation for maintenance and uh, care are followed. This is extremely important. Good sealing is required otherwise corundum uh, you can say L2O3 will uh, grow overnight. In a few days it can become large enough to destroy the heating element and eventually the lining. So now we are uh, we come up to the summary so we can uh, summarize this video so metal handling affect the quality of metal and can increase negative properties such as sludge if not done correctly properly handled metal will result in better quality metal and reduced cost and metal loss so i hope this video will help you this i think this series of 